An unexpected victory for the opposition coalition. Supporters flooded the streets to celebrate. With many saying they're relieved as they feared the election would be rigged in favor of incumbent President Abdullah Yameen, who is seeking another five years in office. Yamin had been widely expected to retain power after jailing or forcing into exile his main rivals. His only opponent in the election was Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, the leader of the Maldivian Democratic Party. The evening before the vote, his campaign office was raided, triggering fears the election process was being interfered with. Despite that, high temperatures and rain, the voter turnout was good. This is a moment of happiness. This is a moment of hope. This is a moment of history. For many of us, this has been a difficult journey, a journey that has led to a prison cell or years in exile. Since February, the country has been in political turmoil after Yamin imposed a state of emergency to annul a Supreme Court ruling that quashed the convictions of nine opposition leaders, including former President Muhammad Nasheed. Now living in exile in Sri Lanka, Nasheed welcomed the victory. We want to see a smooth transition. We do not want to see President Yamin back to his old tricks. No more Supreme Courts, no more martial law, no more emergency rule, no more suppression. Under the Constitution, parties have a week to challenge the result in court. But the Maldives government has acknowledged Soli's victory, giving these people something more to celebrate. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.